guys, it's Christina and I am on my way right now to Denver for my book tour. It's going to be an amazing trip. I'm so excited. Alright, so it's early. I'm feeling good. I already got in my run. Got some green juice, got some fruit, and uh, we're headed to Denver. I'm excited to bring you guys with me to have a great time this weekend. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so I just went through security and um, had a pat down. They like to touch me all over, and then this woman was yelling at me for being ticklish. Like, really? You had your hands all in my armpits. Okay, of course I'm gonna laugh. And so I had three pounds of grapes that I brought through security, and I had to throw one away because it totally got smashed and busted everywhere but um, anyway grapes on a plane yes please and for those of you asking I have my vegan luggage set right behind me I even have um, my cool shoes from Moo Shoes they're vegan pleather good morning you guys I'm here in Denver and as you can see I am a uh, in the middle of the street downtown not really in the middle of the street but uh, it's early morning and I'm about to get in maybe like eight or nine miles on my run today so excited every time I travel somewhere I have to get my run in it's like the one thing that balances me it grounds me it keeps me fresh and plus who doesn't love getting all that oxygen to your cells check out some of these buildings Whoa. Lots and lots and lots of buildings here. Well, like any other downtown really, but I thought it was kind of funny that I forgot my normal hair ties in Houston. And so Mufasa is so big that she requires like 10 different hair clips. And so I had to go and get like these mini hair clips, which I don't know if you can see this, but I have like 10 of them. I have like 10 different hair clips in my hair to try and hold up Mufasa. It's insane. Look at this. Anyways, time to go for a run. Let's go. So I had a great run this morning and we've been walking around exploring Denver, saw some super cool murals and and I had a special visitor come and see me today. Hi. <laughs> my lovely soul sister Noelle is here to help me with my book tour event and we've got Daniel here. What's up? <laughs> so <laughs> and actually what I haven't mentioned yet is that um, we're here eating lunch at Very Good Cafe here in Denver for those of you who know it. And they made us this incredibly gorgeous spread of food. Can you see this? There's like bowls of every color. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We are spending the day in the Red Rocks, which is essentially one of the most beautiful views and parks in Colorado. Obviously, we're here in Denver. Noelle, turn around. Hey! It's and so I don't know if you can see, it's like, it, the views here are just insane. Yeah, that's right, you heard Daniel be like, it's perfect, because it is perfect. I don't even know if you can see all this, but take a minute to appreciate this beauty. <laughs> Those are little nuggets, but they're not real nuggets. So Red Rock is also an outdoor venue for concerts, and it supposedly has amazing acoustics. Dave and Matthews plays here. I actually still really want to go. I know. Like we're that. not going to catch anybody, but we're here to appreciate the view in the meantime. So the sun is going down, and Noelle and I just had a beautiful yoga session here on the Red Rocks, and it was pretty healing. It was so healing. We, it was amazing. We did this exercise where we expressed gratitude, and then we mentioned one thing that we wanted to leave here. Something not good, or something that we're not proud of. 
and we decided we were gonna leave it here. So we gave it to the sky. We gave it to the sky. We gave it to box. this beautiful park behind us. Um, and, and we wanna challenge you, what do you wanna let go of? Yep. What's holding you back? Yep. Let it go, release it, flow with it. Breathe it out. We were blowing it out. <laughs> blowing out, ready? Okay, so now we are going to go back into the city and go get something to eat. Dinner with our, our man that we share. <laughs> Wait. Um, uh, it's fine. We're, we're fine. Just, we're eating dinner. Everybody's fine. Time for dinner. Let's go. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday, and we had a great night last night at Red Rock. And then we went to go eat at a vegan restaurant, and then I went to get food at Whole Foods. And now it is an early morning and we are getting ready to go hike on May St. Mary's. I've got the squad with me. Hello. And we're ready for a good day. We're going to go hike, we're going to eat, and then we're going to get ready for the book event tonight. And it's going to be awesome. Let's go. All right, you guys. So we are starting a hike up St. Mary's Glacier. We've got Miss Erica here. Say hello. Hello. We've got... <laughs> Haley. <laughs> of course, we have Noel and Daniel, and as you can see, I have like a million different layers on because I'm not used to feeling this cold. But um, it's super beautiful out here. Check out this view. I don't know where to show the camera. All I can tell forward, you is that forward. it just feels cold <laughs> and that we're going to go on a fun group hike and it's going to be awesome. and I have my first snowball here and I'm gonna throw it and I'm really excited. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> feel my hands and the wind is chilly but it is so worth it because it is so stunning here look at this view we still have a little bit to go and then we gotta climb down we're doing it <laughs> Good morning you guys, it is the day after my event, my book tour here in Denver and I apologize because I didn't have a chance to vlog yesterday so basically you guys get to see the event but I didn't get to show you guys essentially what I was wearing or even get to talk to you guys a little before the event so um, if you haven't already check out my Instagram because I posted some cool pictures there. But what I wanted to show you right now was essentially what I'm eating in my hotel room because you guys are always asking me what I'm eating when I'm traveling. And I have a little bit of a spread here that I've laid out to show you. Forgive me because I've already eaten quite a bit of it, but um, just to give you an idea of what I keep in my hotel rooms while I'm traveling, and I'm still traveling, let's go through one by one. Um, got some Evermore water here, which I drink a lot of Evermore and they are so awesome because they always send me water. Thanks Evermore. Um, got some carrots here. I've gone through two of these freshly squeezed orange juice bottles. Non-pasteurized, raw, organic, freshly squeezed orange juice. I also have four of these green juices. I don't know if you can see this, but um, basically it's all greens and lemon and they make those at Whole Foods. It's just freshly pressed green juice. 
I've gone through one, two, three, four of those so far. Like these are mostly empty. They have just a little bit left in them. I'm gonna go through that one pretty soon. I have a carton of dates, which I've basically already eaten. You can see that. Um, raisins. This was shared with me and a few other friends. That's already empty. Um, last night, a few of my friends, we had some guacamole and pico de gallo that were freshly made. I don't know if you could see those, but they're pretty much already gone as well. Um, we had some cucumbers right here. You guys know me, I love my cherry tomatoes and kale. I had about four heads of kale. So this is one, two, and over here I have three, four. I have some bananas right here. Some raw vegan junk food, like raw cookies, things like that. Had some raw mulberries to snack on. Go Raw sent us some like of their raw bars. And um, a vendor last night from the event made us some like raw desserts that we munched on that were pretty good. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I think that's pretty much it as for what's in my hotel room and what I'm eating until I'm gone. And keep in mind I've only been here like two or three days and we've also been going out and trying other like raw or vegan places and we've probably had like two or three trips to the supermarket to get these items. We've already eaten a lot but this is just what's left. Okay so ate a little breakfast. We're actually in an Uber on the way to the airport right now but we're gonna do a little bit of sightseeing before we head back to H-Town. Let's see, in my bag I also have cherry tomatoes and mulberries and I'm still sipping on OJ in the Uber. Good stuff. <laughs> I love it when you see your friends on planes. Alright, so I just got on my plane and I think that marks the end of this trip because we are, I am back to Houston and I'm actually really excited because one of my close friends, Erica, is on this plane with me which means we can visit and I want to show you that in my black bag I have snacks but I also brought some kale, carrots, and cucumbers in here. You can't really see that but it's here. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you guys have liked traveling with me, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below and join the fam. You guys can catch up with me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. All at Fully Rock Christina. And um, plan's about to take off, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!